Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. So if you look at the picture, it's about an animal, a fish or a mammal uh, in the ocean. So it says panda of the sea. So we know what a panda is. Panda is a bear that's black and white and has those black spots around the eye, but it says of the sea. So let's see. It looks like kind of like a whale or a dolphin, but let's see why it's called panda of the sea. It says the vaquita porpoise is also called the panda of the sea because of the dark rings around its eyes. So we see uh, an animal called the vaquita porpoise and that is uh, nicknamed panda of the sea. Why? Because it has the black rings, the black circles around its eyes. So I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but they have these dark circles around their eyes. It says this creature is in danger of extinction with only 30 remaining. So extinction meaning that they are no longer living. We cannot find them on the planet and they will no longer be alive. So they're in danger. So that means they're close to no longer being alive on the planet. So there's only 30 remaining in the entire world, right? So they're very rare. Uh, it says the mammal is found in the Gulf of California in northwestern Mexico where many fishermen illegally seek to catch the totoba, a giant Mexican fish that is also endangered. So many fishermen are going to the Gulf of California. So it's a body of water that's an ocean and it comes in towards the land. That's called the Gulf. And we know that it's a mammal. So it's not, it's a fish, but then it's warm blooded like you and me, right? So this mammal is found in the Gulf of California and many fishermen illegally, so illegally means they're doing it against the law, right? So they're not supposed to. So they're breaking the law and they're trying to catch another fish, right? The totoba, which is a giant Mexican fish. And that giant Mexican fish that the fishermen are catching against the law, it's also endangered. So they're also close to being dying. Uh, they're dying uh, and no longer being found. So fishermen sometimes mistakenly catch the vaquita because its size is similar to the totobas. So here we see that this fish also nicknamed, uh, this mammal also nicknamed the panda of the sea is being caught on accident, right? It's a mistake uh, because it's similar to the fish that the fishermen want. So I'd never even heard of this fish or this mammal until today and maybe you haven't either but we need to be aware because if we don't do something that we're not going to find them anymore. So our children and our grandchildren, the future generations will never get to see this fish, uh, this mammal of the sea if we don't do something about it. So this is a very fascinating, very interesting animal and if we don't do something about it, they'll be gone from the planet, right? It's kind of a sad uh, story but there's something that we can do before it's too late. Uh, so it says the vaquita porpoise is also called the what of the sea, right? So we talked about it because it has those dark circles, the rings around the eyes. It's called the panda of the sea. Uh, B, it says it is blank in size to the totoaba. So what is it? It's very close to, it's almost the same. So we can say it is similar, right? It's similar in size to the totoaba. So it's very close. Uh, they're almost the same size. The vaquita porpoise is found in the Gulf of, so where do we say? So the Gulf is where the ocean comes in and it's towards, it's surrounded by land and that part is the Gulf of California. So it's in the top left part of Mexico, the northwestern part of Mexico and also connected to California. So it can only be found there and we talked about it, there's not that many left. So let's look at the last part, which is circle the correct answer. So it says here, the vaquita porpoise's name comes from the round rings, the bright rings or the dark rings around its eyes. So which correct answer? Well, it's not bright. So it's uh, something that looks like a panda and the panda has dark rings around its eyes. So dark is the correct answer. Let's look at the second one. It says this creature is in danger of extinction with only 30 living, 30 remaining or 30 swimming. Well, swimming sounds kind of weird. So it's kind of close between living and remaining. So which answer is it? Do you remember? It's 30 remaining. So there's only 30 left in the world. Okay. And the last question, many fishermen illegally, so we said illegally was against the law. They're not supposed to do it. Many fishermen illegally seek to catch the totoba, a giant Mexican. Is it a fish? Is it shark or a mammal? 
So it's a giant, if you're paying attention, we know it's not a shark, it's a giant fish. And because it's a huge giant fish, they're mistaking it for uh, the panda of the sea, right? So the vaquita porpoise. So we know that this, today's article is trying to raise awareness, it's trying to help us to understand that there's an animal who is also close to extinction, meaning no longer being alive in the world. So if you want to see this uh, very interesting and beautiful animal, well, we need to raise awareness. We need to let other people know before it's too late. So I hope you enjoyed today's article. And if you love pandas, you have another animal that you can uh, think about and care about. Uh, it's the panda of the sea. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.